in this video we're going to finish our derivation of the kramer rao lower bound for the case of a Bernoulli remnant variable. So at the end of the last video we got to this particular expression for the second derivative of p, or sorry, the log likelihood with respect to p, which was then evaluated at p equals the maximum likelihood value of, of or the estimator for p. And we got this expression here on the right. Okay, so we can simplify this a bit further by noticing that we've just got on the top, we've got p hat, or we've basically got two minus two p hat squared plus p hat squared, which is going to just going to yield a minus p hat all squared. And so I can take out a factor of p hat as well as n, and that's just then going to yield p hat times n times one minus p hat, all divided through by p hat squared times one minus p hat all squared. And now comes the easy part, we can just start cancelling things. So we're going to cancel the p hat with one of the p hats below, and we're going to cancel the 1 minus p hat with one of the 1 minus p hats below as well. So writing it like this, we then have that the second derivative of the log likelihood with respect to the parameter p evaluated at p equals p hat is given by minus n over p hat times 1 minus p hat. Okay, so this is what we defined as it's actually the minus of the or sort of estimator of the information matrix or in fact it's not actually a matrix it's just a scalar so it's minus the estimator which we've got for the information matrix which I'm going to write i of p hat hence we have in this particular circumstance that i of p hat is or the inverse of the information matrix rather is just simply this thing going to be flipped uh, after we've taken away the minus sign. So it's just going to be p hat times 1 minus p hat all divided through by n. So this is great now because we know that essentially our maximum likelihood estimator for p, which I'm going to write p hat maximum likelihood, tends approximately or asymptotically towards being normally distributed around the true population parameter p with a variance which is given by this inverse of this information matrix, which we're going to use here, our sort of estimator for that, which is p hat times 1 minus p hat divided by n. So this is great now because not only can we come up with a point estimate for the population parameter, we can also start to do some sort of inference because we've got a standard error, so we can use ordinary t-statistics here.